All right, this is going to be a different video here. This is my mother-in-law's projector. It's a LG LED um, projector. It's got a built-in TV tuner. Really cool. I actually have one just like it, and I recommended this one to her. And the other day, she was watching it, and it just shut off. So initially, what I did. Um, there's another board on here I thought was bad, so I did a solder reflow on both of them, put them in the oven, uh, 10 minutes, 400 degrees. That didn't solve the problem. So I put the board back in and reinstalled everything, um, plugged in the power supply. I actually looked at the power supply first, thinking it was bad and I was getting good voltage out of it, so I figured, yeah, it's good. Then every time I plugged it into the connector, uh, I'd see a little arc and the power supply would shut off. And I could measure that, and it would reset when I unplugged it, plugged it back in, I'd get my 19.5 volts again. So, when I put this board back in, like I said, same problem with the power supply shutting off. And one at a time, I started disconnecting all the connectors around. And if you look at the main, the rest of the projector, you see there's quite a few connectors in there. There's also three or four fans and another speaker over here that aren't installed right now, but... They've all got connectors on them too. So what I did is I disconnected them one at a time and noticed I still had a short. Actually a really good short. I couldn't locate it on my own um, with the basic equipment I have. Uh, so I thought, well, maybe a thermal camera would work for this. And we rented this from Home Depot. Um, about $50 for a couple hours, I think. And I can pull up the pictures. These cameras work good, but they're really not meant for circuit boards. Um, they'll get you close, but not quite, um, you know, you'll be like an eighth of an inch off or so. Which, when you're looking at the size of these components, an eighth of an inch is quite a big difference. Um, but it got me in the general area. Obviously, I'm seeing a hot spot by the connector. And if it'll show, I don't know if I got pictures of the side that actually is the hot side. Let's see. I don't think it did. No. Anyways, <clears throat> I found the hot side was here on these three capacitors. Um, <clears throat> like I said, the thermal camera got me close, but not quite on those, and I started touching around and felt them, and they, they burned my finger, so I knew it was in that area, that general area there. What I've done now is I've gotten some isopropyl alcohol and dabbed it on there, and this here's a cheap little microscope USB camera. That works really well, though. Here you can see my three capacitors. They're wet with the alcohol, and when I turn my power supply up to about 2 volts, See that? So I know that capacitor right there is my my issue. The one on the far right. I'll try that again and show you one more time. Okay, here we go again. You can see that. So I know that's my bad cap right there. And um, that's just a basic 10 microfarad cap. Um, a couple cents. So what I'm going to do next is remove that and see if my short's still there. Alright, so I've got that capacitor removed. As you can see, it was right there. Now, crank up my voltage. And I get nothing really. I measure it across that little cap. And I get 0.1 ohms. So, Hopefully, that's the only problem we have here. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.